And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Preston North End, and they take on Derby County. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, on the road, they're just too negative in their attitude. Whether that comes from the coach or the players, only they will know. But unless they can be more expansive in their play, they'll struggle to score again today. on the rule over the Preston North End starting 11. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. And here's how it looks for Derby County. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the battle commences. Bird. An incisive pass. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Daniel Johnson. At times they make passing look easy. Whiteman. It might be on for them. Now a decent position. And that always looked likely to run through to the keeper. And the keeper has possession of it. Sibley. It looks promising. Cross fired over. Well cleared away. Plenty of options. Whiteman. Still passing it around with authority. Chance to play it in. And blocked for now. Oh, a vital interception. vital interception here well they've lost the ball failed to keep hold of it this looks promising not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play throw in to come Doesn't want to give it away here. Lawrence. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Baldock. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending.
Ryan Ledson. Josh Earl. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the referee says corner kick. Well, they haven't had too much to cheer about for a while now, but the goal would be a huge bonus here. Now the delivery. Oh, the post denied him. And the problem not completely solved. No oh, tremendous block. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just... A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Crossing opportunity. Baldock. Shinny. The first half here comes to an end. are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences Bird Buchanan definitely look as though they want to make this move count it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Baldock. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? Oh, a clinical counter-attack and so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Morrison. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, it looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Couldn't hang on to it. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Bird. Now a decent position. 
surely. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a waste. A complete miss to you by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? Daniel Johnson. Oh. Ryan Ledson. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Well, they've decided to make a change. And Buchanan. Knight, here's Buchanan, Lawrence, possession one, it's at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win, Stuart your thoughts? Well it's going to be a nervy end to this game but if they do hold on I think they've deserved their win, they've played really well and they've played some good attacking football and in general they've controlled the game. Brown, Ledson, Earl, Ryan Ledson, Josh Earl, well read to put an end to that attack, bodies forward and the break looks on, they are making headway but really they need a goal with time not on their side, well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. Substitution for and a substitution in the offing. Number 33, Curtis Davis to be replaced by number 16, Richard Stearman. Over it comes. In the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Ball's gone. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. The clearance wasn't decisive. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area and they don't reorganise themselves and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. They will have four minutes of stoppage time. Chad Evans. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments.
And now the delivery. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even contest.